has no idea what level players are, so that's that's probably really fun. Mm -hmm. So it looks like we have the uh, matchup we're kind of oh, talking yeah. about. Oh, yeah. Versus Buff. It's going to be interesting. So now, what are one of the reasons, in my case, you'd say that uh, Falcos hate fighting Jigglypuff? I know for one thing, before you answer, um, how far Jigglypuff gets knocked back when you try right. to combo her, that makes it difficult. Right, and I think that's a big thing, too, against uh, the floater matchups. It's just uh, Falco's not going to have an easier time of going to get into the punish game, uh, especially against Peach or you know, Puff or Peach. It's going to be really hard to pick up those hard punishes like you normally would against, you know, let's say, another Fox or a Falcon. Uh, so that's, that's a big thing. I feel like I can understand the matchup, though, because lasers, I feel like, can shut down the floaties just as hard. Like... I can imagine playing as Puff against Falco can be annoying to an extent too. Yeah, that's another thing. Dude. Getting like, locked down when you're using a spacey, I mean a floaty, right? You kind of don't have the greatest ground mobility. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, you're in the air, and if the opponent's just like moving away from you and shooting the entire time, you're gonna have to find ways to weave around the lasers. And if you get caught in a bad spot, you, they might get a free hit, you know? Right, and I feel like historically, uh, that we have said that Falco, or people have said that Falco does worse against the floaties. Um, but, you know, like we said, we, we've seen Wes Bowles out playing MACD more, more so recently. I know they were going back and forth in sets, and lately Wes was just kind of faking it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I, I feel like it kind of forces the floaty, you know, the floaty character Puff or Peach to commit in certain situations uh, because they have to chase down Falco. Exactly. So I can see that, too. Yeah. But yeah. not everyone wants to play that way, so. It's true. Because some players make it easier for the floaty mains by just rushing in. And if they screw up their approach, they get grabbed. And you know the floaties have amazing punishes on these fast followers. Namely Falco, too. Because once you get Falco off stage, right, this man's recovery is just so short in comparison to Vox. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Once Falco's off stage, especially against a floaty, like, Peach can cover so many options. Puff as well. Mm -hmm. You don't uh, have to worry about the flames actually soft. hitting you. And uh, there's a situation. Oh, Unfortunately, doesn't get that, the turnaround. That, was, that would have... Uh, just like holding the edge there would have been good enough. Right, right, yeah. yeah. Falco was far enough for that. Uh, and Eleven doing a great job of just keeping the lead here. Uh, he's playing more of a you know a, a more patient play style, but I think it's really working out for him. And I think that's the way you need to play it. That was a wonky hitbox. Yeah, I did nice. not think that would hit. I was about to comment on how X Factor did a really great sweet spot there, but yeah, <laughs> he timed. Yeah, he timed it perfectly. It looked like it. Yeah, I have to say by the way, every time you say Eleven, I keep thinking you're saying Eleven. <laughs> 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 Just saying, dude. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I was like, Leffen's not here in my case. Oh, wait. He said 11. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll see if we can uh, go for the kill here. It's always scary around this percentage because you know Puff can kill you. Yep. Uh, so it's literally up the row. Yeah, yeah. It's it's so scary. And if they're like back to the edge and they grab you, they could just back throw you. And you, I've seen Hungry Box get amazing edge guards on people time and time again, Evil 2015. But um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Shine's going to kill him. All right. Yeah, I was remembering uh, when uh, during that set, during uh, Mango versus Hungrybox. Oh, goodness. Uh, on the Fountain match, uh, Mango had a lead. And Lovey just standing next to me, he says, if Hungrybox takes the stock, he's going to win the match. Oh. He takes the first stock, and then he just gets the rest that of the That was it. Okay, yeah. as long as you aren't talking about that Yoshi's uh, Yeah, we don't match. talk about that match. That never happened. No, no, no. Man, dude, my heart sank. All right, the tough thing right here for Puff is going to be a... Uh, <laughs> Change the subject. <laughs> it's gonna, I was going to say, it's going to be not committing to the rest because uh, at the, around this percent, you know, you, you could potentially die. Uh, but now, if he had, oh, he can get the kill. Wow. He gets, I can see the grab. Yeah, see, right oh, now. Was, yeah. Oh. yeah, I felt it. Yeah, that was. It was in the air. You ever get that feeling? You like, stick yeah, a whiff you, and you, you know it's in the air? You just know, dude. <laughs> you can feel it in the air, dude. Yeah, this, this is still absolutely doable. If, if uh, X Factor can get him off the stage or even convert to a rest from an, uh, you know, either an up throw and aerial. Then that could be the stock, but again... Oh, there it is. Oh, back throw. Probably because of the platforms he I wonder if, wasn't yeah, confident. He was worried about, I'm wondering yeah. if it's tech error or if he doesn't want to commit to it. I could see either one. Yeah. So some, uh, some players aren't necessarily confident in their tech chase ability. Because Jigglypuff can tech chase yeah. on those platforms. So it's not yeah, necessarily absolutely. bad to go for an up throw there. Oh, well. Yeah, that could be one of those confidence things, I think. Mm. Uh, that's okay. That was a good showing either way. Even though uh, he did lose that match, I think that he did show that he's not free. That yep. he can do it in another game. Uh, so we'll see. I imagine Falco's probably going to be in Dreamland. Mm -hmm. uh, FD is a good choice. The interesting pick about this, obviously, it, it's still really good, but it's going to be really wide. So Falco's going to get a lot of room to, to play patient to camp. Um, and we didn't really see how Eleven, how the Falco is going to react to up throw. He didn't get any up throw opportunities. Yeah. So as an example, what I'll look for. If I were Puff or if I'm playing Marth, is how they DI initially. Exactly. Um, if he's going to DI away on the first time, then say, like, okay, well, FD might not even be the best pick to kind of cheese him, you know? Yeah. Uh, still a solid choice, though. Still a big map, so X Factor is going to live a while, but it, it's, it's kind of a trade off. 
He's going to live, but he's going to get camped more. I have to say, one thing that I would like to see X Factor work on is uh, his punishes. Okay, really? Uh, <laughs> all right, so. Come to this case. Or blessing. So, anyway. Um, yeah, it's there were a couple situations in the beginning where he would just keep jabbing Falco instead of straight up going for a grab, which would yield more damage, you know, and positional advantage. Right, and I think that's something that really separates, uh, you know, the best from the best. Yeah. Or yeah, yeah. it's but all about optimal punishes. Right, it's just like, are you gonna get those fat punishes? Like, mm -hmm. what, what's your conversion gonna be? And uh, I think it's really important to work on, you know. Yeah, indeed. Like, even when I when I play someone way better, I'm like, dude, I just lost a stock because of one hit. Like, that, it's nuts. That's how it has to be at this level. Yeah, you know, this game's, this game, people are just optimizing so many things nowadays. And yeah. you have to keep up or you'll get lost in the crowd, dude. Look at Leffen. You saw, I'm sure, yeah, you were there. You saw Leffen. Ooh, that's going to be a stock. Oh, Good stuff nice. by X-Factor. Oh, oh, it's oh, a trade. Man. Unfortunate. Well, <laughs> and yeah, Eleven just shrugs. You got to laugh it off. Um, optimal. Oh, oh, that's gonna be it, but that's not but gonna be the zero stock. percent. That's okay. He'll be awake by the time uh, he comes back. Exactly. Yeah, that's fine. That's that's a nice forty percent right there. That was really interesting how he was able to duck underneath that <laughs> their approach. Yeah, that was pretty yeah. funny. Just uh, <laughs> perfect spacing. But here's another tough thing about this matchup. I feel um, when you're jigs and you're that high up in the air against Falco. Falco has so many good like anti-air tools, right? If you space with the back air, even like the up tilt, you kind of have to be careful. If anything, you see a lot of players like go back towards the edge so that if the opponent tries to t chase them and they go for, you know, the wrong thing, they can possibly set up for an edge guard. Yeah, that's a really good point. Mm -hmm. How's he going to get you? Okay. <laughs> He's <laughs> not by. rolling what? away. I can't believe it. <laughs> that was interesting. All right, now we have a similar position to the last match. Where it's going to be, uh, you know, two mid percent. Uh, to uh, expect it on his last stock, see if he can come back. But he's getting comboed now. Dude, this guy just did raw combos without Who the sign. Never yeah. mind, okay. Who said Falco can't combo puff? Oh, I guess it was me. I think it was me. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, and that was, that was really, really smart. I don't know if you guys noticed that. So basically, he uh, he got pushed off the edge, and a lot of people just like to come back with an aerial, but uh, X-Factor was perfectly spaced for it. That was super smart. All right, so 5% right now on Falco. I, I don't think an up throw... Oh, he got pushed back. No, I don't think it'll kill him, but a back throw yeah. should. Yeah. A back throw with precision should kill him. It looked oh, like that's what you're to go for. Wow. That was the tippy toe. Yeah. Yeah, that was nasty. That shows how active the hitbox is and the range on it, too. It kind of extends a bit below his feet. If you ever checked out the hip... What yeah, do they call yeah. it? Hip bubbles? Um, yeah, I don't know. Hip, yeah. Hitbox...